Welcome back to Getting Techy with SAS Alerts. This is the first video of a multi-part series where we'll cover respond rules, both in and outside of the template library. It's my hope that explaining the logic behind some of these rules will give you the confidence to add some of these rules to your environment. I really look forward to working with you on this project. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to our support or join our Discord server. The very first rule that we're going to apply is from our rule template library. Let's go ahead and click on rule templates. And if we scroll down to our next page, we'll see Jake Tarrant's inbox rule created outside of pre location. I picked this rule to run first because this is the one rule out of all of them that I would apply no matter what the environment. We highlight over this section, it looks for a sign in from outside approved location, followed by a mail forwarding rule being created. The goal of respond is to look for occurrences that don't typically happen unless there's possibly a bad guy in our system. Let's add this rule to our environment. We'll click on duplicate, we'll hit create, we'll go to our organizations, we'll select for all organizations and all accounts. We'll go to our conditions and we can see this is what it's looking for. Outside approved location, followed by these two events. And this could be either one of these. It doesn't have to be both. Once you have this in your system, if you decided, hey, I want to give the bad guy a little bit more time to create that mail forwarding rule, you can adjust this time threshold to be a little higher. Maybe we want to give them 60 minutes. If we scroll down a little bit more, we can choose our response, which is currently set to do nothing. I like do nothing because even if we completely messed up this rule, it's not going to cause any problems. The worst thing that it's going to do is to create a couple of alerts, but that's much better than locking out somebody from their account from a misconfigured rule. Honestly, I think this one's probably even okay to block sign-in and expire logins, but that's 100% up to you. If we decided that we did want to go that route, we can go ahead and block sign-in. Next, we'll expire account logins that will remove any sort of tokens that are out there. We can do this either automatically or manually. Automatically is I perform the action as soon as I see it. Manually is I create a, a ticket for you and I let you know that I've seen it and I give you a link for you to go ahead and approve this action. We'll go to alert configurations. I want this to be at least a medium or a critical. And the reason is for that is medium or critical is going to create a ticket or an email alert for us. Alert notifications. You can choose to either get a text message or a push notification to your mobile app. I think this rule is good to go as it is. Let's go ahead and activate it by clicking the activate rule button at the top of the screen. We go back to our rules. We can see that our very first rule is in place. This is the first of many rules that we'll be creating with this series. I look forward to seeing you in our next video.